Let's switch to video diary day one. Checking in. The 13th. We just finished our orientation. We're going to hit the trail. The rocks. Going to the ferry. been under an hour. Sean and I are already alone at the Hesitic Pack. No one behind us. No one I can see. And the canopy is just astoundingly wild. Day one continues. And I'm not dead. We are into the second kilometer. Sean and I spent a little bit of time going off trail. I may have Got in a little alley. We're no longer in the lead, but that's gonna change right away. Ladder four. number three or four. Four is coming up. That short little one. Does that count? It does count. All right. Well, I'm doing three points of contact. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh, now we're going back up. Here we go up, Hobbit. Oh. Is that ladder 7 you're on then? I think so. I actually just lost count. Well, that lot of good you're doing. <laughs> uh, I think you're supposed to go to the right. See this other hiker sign? Kind of looks like this. You told me to just go. I'm like, oh, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. Check-in time, 1.50. We can hear the ocean. We're approaching Thrasher's Cove. Thrasher's Cove. And uh, deciding if we're gonna continue to Camper's Bay. Can hear the ocean while hiking. As long as we're pointing out campsite one, this is how we're getting there. Arriving at Trasher's Cove, day one, two o'clock. The rushing waters of what did you say the creek is called? Hobbs Creek. Hobbs Creek. There it is. That is your fresh water source at this, the first campground. It is 2.50, day one, and uh, we decided that we we're going to walk to the beach uh, camper's cove. And as we rounded this bend, not sure if we could pass it. <laughs> it's lovely. Oorah! Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nice catch your waves. In. Now covered most of the well no we've covered a lot of difficult rock faces kind of sucked at times uh, we think we're through most of them except a couple of old asian guys told us that the hard part's up ahead they don't know what's coming so i think we're through the hard part we'll check in again at kilometer 66 we're going backwards from 75 through one so 66 is uh nine kilometers in and then we got a campsite at 62. so that's your update
tell me these aren't the caves. Sorry, camera. I need the pole. This is the sketchiest part of the trail we've encountered so far. Bye, dude. <laughs> you made it. My turn. You running out of rope or you running out of trail? Oh, I just Batman it. There you go. Hey, Sean. Day one. Day one! <laughs> We're encountering the beach on the hard stuff. Hard stuff meaning easy to walk on, hard. And we're doing a search channel. You're not supposed to jump over it, so we'll go around it. Current time is six o'clock on day one. This one's for Andrea. He's enormous. Hello, slug. Hello, slug. West Coast Trail Log, day one supplemental. It's now day two at six in the morning. We are getting ready to start our next day. Last night was quiet. We arrived at seven. Six campers, campers Cove, just before seven. It is packed. There's a lot of people here, but it's not bad. We found a little spot. Now we're getting up, and we'll be some of the first out. But it's coffee time. Here's what Campers Cove looks like this morning. when we got here and it's no different now. Day two, 6.35, breakfast. Weather's gonna hold. We got rain covered. Here's we'll be okay. 741 day two. Off we go. Happy trail, literally. <laughs> what word do you get? <laughs> 813 day two. Oh, gorgeous with your dick. I could still fall here. We are three kilometers into our day on day two. It's been pretty even trail. We've been making good speed, 24 minutes per kilometer. 
Uh, having covered three, that means we got roughly five to go, but if they're all like this, we expect to be at the final campsite. Final campsite? Day two campsite by noon at the latest. We'll check in from there for the next hard part. I'm glad the ladders are maintained, unlike the boardwalk. Midway break. <laughs> I thought I was closer to the top. Post lunch, 10:15, day two. Gonna take the cable car. Now they said to take your packs off. Did they? Yeah. Load packs individually. Oh, pain in the ass, right? Try to avoid these if we can. <laughs> that sinking feeling when you get in. Cool. Cool. Quiet. Shit, dude. I don't know if there's room for us. What was that? A hole? <laughs> you have to hold this tight. I'll be right back, dude. First half's the fun part. They said don't get rope burn. You ready? On and roll. Is this gonna hit anything on the way down? Yes. Yeah. How about now? You're good. Clear? <laughs> Pulled it over. Yeah, well, oh. I held it while you went and got your pole. Here, you hold this. You hold this. Because this is easier than you going hand over hand. Useless. I think you're straight. <laughs> Alright, fuck here. <laughs> Turn it off. 1020, day two. The cable car was a success. I heard a lot that. of effort. Don't blame Sean. He knows it's his fault. In the video. Yeah. No, I do a lot where it's in front of me and it's looking back. Thanks. Now you're making
you can see him behind you. <laughs> yeah, you fucking dick. <laughs> I could have walked off the boardwalk. <laughs> Kinda wish you had. <laughs> Make for a better video. Oh. I thought you were gonna get stuck in the muck and I didn't get the camera out fast enough. Day two, 1249. Campsite number two. Drying our stuff out. It was a pretty wet day, not too bad. Uh, lots of fast boardwalks, 11 minutes per kilometer. Uh, on average, 25 minutes per kilometer. Covered some suspension bridges. Did our silly uh, zip line. What else did we cover? Ladders. Lots of ladders. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one thing to land on me. It's another thing to stay, asshole. Hi. Uh, lots of ladders. The hands are dirty and raw. Uh, we got cold water, we got some ocean nearby, some caves, some stuff to explore, and a chance to put our feet up. So yeah, 1230 on Friday. August 14. August 14. And we're going to check out and relax for a little while. Next time you see us, it'll be because there's a bear in the campsite. We borrowed a fire from a nice couple we met. They were Blake and Alana. They gave us food because they have too much leaving the trail, so we were ready to turn down chocolate and trail mix. And now we're watching whales. And uh, they've been surfacing and their blowholes have been going off and it's, uh, it's been pretty fabulous. We've realized that our site has lumbar support. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see a footstool anywhere, did you? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Day two supplemental. Well, it is day three, a little after 6.30, I would assume. Uh, last night, we hung out here on the lounge chairs, which was fun. Uh, then we went to go for a walk because we were freezing fucking cold and uh, decided that it was too cold and wet to go for a walk. We were just going to get more wet and cold. So we came back and started a fire. Uh, our neighbors, Adam and Kaylee, joined us. Uh, they've been keeping up with us all the way along the trail. Um, had a fire for quite a while, right? Until it was like 10. Yeah. And then uh, decided to call it a night, hung all of our stuff. It was damp last night. There's water on the tent. Uh, our bags were covered. Our clothes that were hanging out are no more drier than they were when we were hiking in them, which says a lot. So today is going to be probably packing away our dry clothes, putting the wet clothes back on, and marching down the beach for probably six to eight hours, because apparently we can do that today. So we'll check in from the beach. Looking forward to hopefully drying some stuff out today, but. Right now it's breakfast time. Day 3, 746. We are underway. Huh. <laughs> we can't go back now. No one spoke of this. Uh-oh. Boots are off. First river crossing. Barely fucking left camp. I mean, now that I'm in, it's not so bad. Yay, we're across. We crossed the channel. We got our boots and feet back on. Destination. Fun. Eight oh eight, walking along the shelf. It's uh, wet. <laughs> following your foot spot. It's good, it's deeper. It's on spot, so it is on it. Ah, get on top of there and we can cruise. Woo! K1. K1! Kilometer two. The uh, deep pools have receded, giving us a high shelf. Lots of barnacles for traction. And now we can just fucking rock it.
Day 3, 836. We're on the continental shelf cruising, pulling uh, 20 minutes per kilometer. And there's a smorgasbord of clams all along these gullies. But we were told during orientation that there's red tide, algae bloom, so we can't eat any of them. I thought I saw a lot of clams before. Here you go. Anybody hungry? Last update on the clams, I swear. <laughs> wow. Herring to the left. What? Oh yeah, herring, nice. We're passing Bonilla Point. It was described to us by the people we call the trail breakfast. They said, stay there, there's a hammock, there's a toilet, there's no one staying there. Uh, we thought they said vanilla or manila. If we looked at the map, we couldn't see whatever it was they were speaking of. So we didn't end up staying there. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. We are two kilometers from Carmana, which is uh, a very popular site. And then just beyond there is Chez Monique. So making great time on the day, hiking along the shelf. Uh, see you later, Vanilla. Don't trust the rock that weighs less than yourself. Hip check. Day three, ten o'clock, cable car number two. You might bottom up when I get on. <laughs> you know how to slide, thank you. I'll be going for a little trip. It's wet. Alright, let's fly. That's no sag. Oh, it's a drop. Here we go. Shea Monique. Fried burger. Much Yes, register? Yeah. Just realized that you've been rotated 90 degrees for the whole day. Whoops. Kilometer 13 and a half, we've optioned to skip crib campground in favor of one that a lady told us is nice. It's supposed to be uh, kilometer 40, which we're doing inverse, so it'll be kilometer 35 for us on the whole. We've also been told that we're now in a drought zone as there's no fresh water for the next 16 kilometers, but people on the trail have said that it does exist. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we find fresh water source camp there for the night and then do the 14 kilometers without any water except what we brought with us.
go. Till next time. We're here. It's mile marker 40 or kilometer 40. Uh, we're day ahead of schedule. It's still wet everywhere. Trying to make the best of it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rain anymore, so we're drying out some driftwood, having a fire. Uh, covered a lot of ground today, like 14k, which is six, five more than we intended to. Um, yeah, so now job one is keeping sand out of everything because we're camping on the beach. Uh, fresh water is a little bit far to get to. You know, it's not the best camping situation, but we're going to make our best of it and uh, 16k tomorrow. But then it's just fucking cruising. Then we're, then we might even have a day to spare doing nothing. So, yeah. Greetings and welcome back to day three. This is our day three water source. The uh, this is allegedly not here. We've been told this is all drought. So, yay for us. We're classing up the joint. It's getting better. We started off a little haggard, but I think we're pretty tired after today. So. Yeah, some fresh water, some dinner, some fire, we'll be laughing. Everything is different. The sun is shining. <laughs> the, 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 everything is drying out. We've got a beautiful campsite set up. Uh, everything is being able to be air dried if it wasn't already. We're in much higher spirits. We had to put sunscreen on. Who are these guys? So yeah. Bunch of whales out there. We saw a family of otters run by uh, right fucking through our campsite. So now we have to hang all of our food. But uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, the sand's nice and warm. We're in tropical paradise. Day three continues. Good morning and welcome to day four. We spent last night uh, sitting around a fire. Went to the International Space Station to come up. Got cloudy. But the afternoon was nice and hot and sunny and raised the spirits, everything felt great. The stereo pen died, the batteries started flashing red. We dried it out, uh, I rotated the batteries, it started working again, this morning it's dead again. So, yeah, that's the end of day three. Today's day four, we covered the drought zone today. So we've loaded our water, we've used chlorine tabs to, uh, to keep them uh, potable. And so now it's breakfast and then underway. So yeah, here we go, day four. Day three, 8.06, we're packed up camp, a little bit behind schedule. We've been a little bit slower going this morning, my fault mostly. But uh, leaving the whales behind, leaving the fire pit behind, heading to uh, the drought zone. Yay. This is how with it we are this morning. We don't know if last update, I said day three or day four. Today is day four, but you already know that, don't you? You also know if we're idiots because you've already watched the previous one. Good boy. Day four, eight thirty one. It's the most recent, most difficult part of the West Coast Trail. Intentionally doing this.
Yeah, we should end up passing that tree marker. Apparently it's a thing to take a picture of yourself at your own kilometer marker. So I being 34 years old, I'm now at 34 kilometers. At 36 and a half, we passed halfway. So now we're just enjoying the beautiful Vancouver Island ocean view. Oh, spectacular. I feel like you can see forever. I don't know how far down this goes. I imagine it's a little bit sheer. Okay, 34, day three, day four, four. day four. 10 o'clock. Day four, 10.30, 10.24, give or take. Uh, seven and three quarters kilometers in. The first clearing that we've seen to our right, which turns out to be some giant swamp, just totally different biome than we've gotten used to. You don't need to publish me and my selfie stick. How deep is the water? Here, it's only a two-pad. Only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't want to take your boots off and try. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank Day 4, 10.45 across the ferry, and off we go again. Gators and poles. Gators and poles. And waterproof boots. Oh yeah, sure, I put on my fucking camera, and right when we want my pole like the most. Just trudge through the middle of it, you know you want to. Why you're wearing gaiters and boots, right? We are approaching Tissouet Falls slowly. Uh, encountered a spot where we're almost at high tide and we thought we could make it. We were wrong, so we both washed our boots. Tomorrow is a day off will probably be for the best as uh, we'll get a chance to dry our gear. Assuming this uh, fog dissipates and gives us some sun. Wet boots, wet socks. Day four. Sun's 
sometimes we do make it. Very similar day to yesterday. I said we covered more ground than we expected to. Got really tired. Arrived at camp. Got a little grouchy. Didn't like the campsite, but fuck, we're here. We'll make it work. And here we are. Uh, we got a little bit of food. The day has gotten nicer. We can see the peninsula now. It's a nice looking beach. Kiss Wet Falls is down there. We actually had a shower. <laughs> Just got a little cleaner and uh, we now have a fire going, we're warming up and day four. Sean is currently taking his log book discussing the mileage and things that went on yesterday and he remembered a funny aspect from yesterday night. He was petrified of mountain lions attacking our camp. Uh, sober as a priest on Sunday and just convinced that there was a mountain lion stalking us. He kept turning on his headlamp and turning around, pointing it at the bushes. Probably didn't help that there was a bunch of lion food running around, uh, otters uh, <laughs> cutting through our campsite and whales all over the water. It was a good time. <laughs> anyway, that's checking in again on day four. We've decided that tomorrow we're going hiking. We had originally planned to stay here in Eagle Falls, but it's just kind of dull and uh, there's lots more to see. No wildlife out there, no, uh, no whales. No eagles. We've we've seen all that at the previous sites, so we might as well continue. Um, there's there's more to see up ahead. There's lots of trail left, and we can stop wherever we like and uh, explore things. So we're gonna do that, and uh, it just means that our 16 kilometer day will be followed by another 11 kilometer day, and we'll check in probably closer to that time. Day four update. It's time for second breakfast. This is breakfast that was given to us by a nice lady, Alana, and her husband, yeah, Br uh, Blake. Uh, we met them on day two. Day two? Yeah. And uh, they had too much food. They were on their second last day, so they gave us some of theirs. We've been dragging it around, <laughs> and we're hungry. So we're having second breakfast, and it's hot oatmeal, and it looks delicious. Let's find out. Good morning, and welcome to day five. <clears throat> Last night we sat up and watched the star show. Sean caught what might have been the ISS. It was a really bright satellite right around 9.30. Pretty awesome satellite, whatever it was. We met up with Adam and yep. Kylie, rhymes with Smiley. Um, found out we didn't know their names at all. <laughs> so we're getting an early start. Both of us had a pretty good sleep. Sean's got pillow lines on his head, if you can see those. Yeah. So early start, packing up and getting underway. Day five, 6.30ish. 6.37. Pow. Underway. Day four supplemental. Leaving behind a number of nicknamed campers. The uh, the cougars, a couple of older ladies walking around in their underwear. The pseudo camper, kind of reminiscent of super camper, just <clears throat> not a super. Uh, Adam and Smiley, we're leaving them behind again. Uh, they will probably catch us at the next site. Uh, the retarded dudes who camp right next to the waterfall. Uh, U of A boys, who if we remember correctly are staying two nights at Tissouat. U of C boys, who it turns out are doing the whole thing in five days, or five nights rather. They will be forced to pass us at our next stop. Uh, yeah, it was an okay night at Tissouat. Had a lot of fun. Um, we didn't want to spend a whole day there, so we persevere. So much for day five, or day four, today, day five, we're uh, off and running. We got another cable car situation. We hoped we could cross the rocks. <sighs> that 
That hope isn't happening. Giddy up. Ready for the drop? <laughs> <laughs> So much easier. And that is how we do cable cars. See you later, you bastard. I fucking hate those things. Oh. Day five, checking in. It is 9.38, we're at the Valencia Lookout. Valencia being the ship that crashed, the, the inspired the telegraph line for which the West Coast Trail was built. Uh, Sean and I are so far ahead of schedule. We met a nice lady and her daughter on the trail who recommended we stay at Tusquana something or other. Uh, I got lots of tape, hold on. Sokowis Creek. They said it was beautiful, really nice. Uh, Valencia Lookout, we can't see shit. So, well, they cry. yeah. So we're gonna go to Tuscalis. Uh We are gonna be there before 10 a.m. So we're gonna set up, have a day there, and then tomorrow we're gonna hike 5K to Michigan, which is the last campsite. So on two days, we'll have a total of 12 kilometers, which is less than we've done in some days by themselves. So we're way ahead. We're planning to look at bear lockers, scavenge some extra food, maybe do a day hike, do some practice hiking. <laughs> but we are way ahead. Uh, looking forward to Skowis. Uh Hopefully that lady's recommendation was good. She said Darling's really busy and not that nice, kind of rocky. And from Tuscalus, you'll be more alone. There's bear lockers and toilets and you can see whales all evening. So hopefully that's one of the next updates. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. There's something, 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 something. We're together. It's always fun when we're together. <laughs> are just exploring our new home and uh, we found a rope so of course that seems like a good idea part of me thinks that rope gets used at high tide and you can or this <laughs> it's around a rock you're good update Rope is fun. <laughs> I can't think of a better place to sit and watch the gray whales. Holy shit, yeah. Day five. 
Not even noon. Laundry's done. Tent set up. Shit's drying out. We're going swimming. Spent the past couple hours sitting on our throne, watching the whales, watching the ocean. Went for another swim. Yep. Drank a little bit of okay. dinner, egg noodles, and uh, coconut curry. Sean's creation it was fantastic. Our laundry is clean and dry. We have nowhere to be for 48 hours. We are just chillaxing on the beach, enjoying day five. It's like a tropical vacation. Day five. Okay. Day five supplemental. We're packing up at Toscalis. Moving on to Michigan. Last night was uh, weird. I think we're both exhausted. I got pretty grouchy and we had dinner, sat on our benches, and then moved over to the fire when it started getting cold. And then Things picked up, had a muscle relax and felt a little better. <laughs> uh, egg noodles for dinner. They didn't soften up as fast as we thought, but the curry was delish. And that's two nights in a row that we both had pretty good sleeps. Um, so yeah, day five, Toscalis, uh, moving on. Today's day six. It's not even 7 a.m., it's 6.56. <laughs> tent's broken up. <laughs> tent's packed up, yeah. All right, check it out. 7.23 a.m. We've broken camp. We're heading down the beach away from Piscalis towards Michigan. We have four grueling kilometers of walking on the beach today. I'm not sure we're going to make it. Check in for regular updates. <laughs> if you find this camera and we are not with it, <laughs> we were probably eaten by the sea. <laughs> Day 6, 8.32 a.m., one hour of hiking. We've arrived at the final campsite. We did a quick tour around Michigan, uh, looked at some of the stuff out by the ocean. It was okay, nothing spectacular. This guy's got some good coverage, not like we expect rain. Maybe we'll get a little bit of shade, we got nice things to sit on. Uh, there's a fire pit just out there, there's some driftwood around. We got a camp kitchen, we got a seat. I think we're laughing. Uh, today's docket is go exploring. We're gonna go check out some sea lion haul out rocks, they call them. Uh, we're gonna walk around, even though we've been hiking for six days, we're gonna go for a walk. But uh, we're gonna set up camp first at 8.30 in the morning, having hiked all day. Here, oh, there they are. It's pretty fun. There's some swimming in the water too. Yeah, we'll jump.
Day six, back from our day hike, checked out the sea lions. They were kind of cool. Now back at uh, day six camp, Michigan. Everything is set up and ready to go. Uh, most people were clear to here early. We met up with Kylie and Adam uh, at the lighthouse. We saw their names on the register and we realized that we had missed them. And then we actually found, like heard them coming down the path. So that was nice to reconnect with them. Uh, but yeah, came back to Michigan. The last set of people here were packing up. We just watched them leave, recommend them to go to Tuscalus. Um, we are alone for a couple hours. <sighs> Nothing to do but relax and recoup. Sean's getting grouchy. We are low on food. No not, food. Not for poor planning, but for efficient planning. We, uh, we've we gone through a lot of our stores. We're on the last couple of days. There's not a lot left to do. So, yeah, we're low. Uh, we're going to put our food away. We're going to read our books. But I thought it important to bring Sean along and maybe to quote Dr. Ian Malcolm when I say that is one big pile of shit. <laughs> Hello! Did you take the other bear locker? This one's full, empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Turns out there's three bear lockers. Just gonna let this all natural reaction happen. Oh, it's good to be king. There's coffee grinds. We don't have a filter. But that's the, this is a pass the salad they got going on. Okay, no, we'll, we'll take care of that. All right, checking out day six. Good day. They say necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> so when you're in the backcountry and you really need a coffee filter, gauze pads, emergency. First aid kit. Day six. Nine something. Doesn't matter. Uh, beautiful sunset on the West Coast Trail. Our last night. We've had our last dinner. We're having our last nighttime coffees. Fire is burning in the hall. We have a question. What kind of a sick son of a bitch mixes instant coffee? with grind coffee. Same person who leaves it behind. <laughs> assholes. This place is crawling with assholes. Good morning and welcome to day seven. We had a really excellent star show last night. Stayed up later than we expected, 11? 11. 11. Just watching the stars and the Milky Way, it was great. Uh, this campsite ended up being pretty good. We uh, we got crowded. We had a couple people trying to not horn in our space, but if you look around, there's not really a lot of room for other people because we took up a lot of space. Uh, but there's a lot of people on the other side of the river. But it's now 6:30ish, and uh, everybody's getting up, getting underway. It's it's the busiest campsite at this hour in the morning. We saw a lot of campsites where people slept till long after we were gone. We're sure. But this morning, people are up and at them. Um, it's our last day. We've got hidden bear container food to sustain us through lunch, or that guy anyway. And uh, and that's gonna be our lunch stop. Otherwise, we're gonna motor straight for the finish line and get on a bus and end up in Victoria. So day seven uh, starts now. Breakfast. Trail update. We passed the U of A boys. There are just two of them. Uh, Kieran left early. He wasn't feeling it. He hiked out a day early with a different group and is probably long gone by now. The other two stayed, had a good time. Maybe romance. Who knows? Anyway, they're alive. We'll see them on the bus. 
back to our regular schedule. Walk, 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 I reached my step count early today. Normally it's nine something. Yeah. We're ahead. Yeah, we're 12 minutes, 47 seconds per kilometer on average. We need to make 20 to be early for the bus. Eight minutes per kilometer over 12 kilometers. We're gonna be early. We're gonna get lumberjack slammed. <laughs> it's gonna be our first meal off the trail. It's gonna be great. Day seven, 10, 17 a.m. About to approach the finish line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just fine with this for a That's that from the West Coast Trail. So ends day seven. <laughs>